Hidden, deep in the heart of an ancient forest, there lies a cursed manor, long abandoned by its inhabitants, yet forever watched over by a soulless raven. It's said that the raven's eyes once shone like pools of black ink, but now give off a sinister impression, void of all life. The villagers talked often of Raven's Wood, whispering in hushed tones around the campfire, telling of the manor's dark past, of a wealthy family who long ago once called it home, and of the terrible curse that befell them. They say that a single raven is the sole survivor of what took place there, the manor's curse having changed it. A radiant and intelligent being, now cursed and corrupted, an undead wraith, doomed to wander the earth, forever searching for its lost soul. Those brave enough to venture near, speak of a feeling of unease, as if something is watching them, always watching. Some have even claimed to have heard the raven's voice, carried by the wind, whispering dark secrets. The villagers have warned of the dangers of venturing too close to Raven's Wood, for they say that the raven's curse is infectious, spreading like a disease to anyone who enters its realm. They say that the raven's gaze can steal your soul, leaving you empty and twisted, just like the raven itself. But there are those who do not heed the warnings, who are drawn near by an inexplicable force, a force that whispers to them in the darkness, tempting them to enter the cursed ground. These foolish souls are never seen or heard from again. And as the raven continues to watch over the manor with its vacant eyes, haunting in the moonlight, one cannot help but wonder how many souls have been claimed by the curse and how many more will fall victim to the raven's haunting gaze. This is one such story. A story of a young girl who did not listen to the warnings, who did not heed the elder's advice. Elizabeth was a beautiful girl with a wild spirit and a curious mind. She had a head full of fiery red hair that cascaded down her back in loose curls and bright green eyes that sparkled with mischief. She had a contagious laugh that could light up any room and a contagious smile that could warm anyone's heart. This was a free-spirited soul who was always eager to explore and discover new things. Her adventurous nature often got her into trouble, but she never let that stop her from living life to the fullest. Elizabeth was determined and brave. Nothing would ever stand in her way. Friends and family loved her dearly, and she was always the life of the party. This overly brave girl had always scoffed at the idea of curses, and in particular, did not believe the stories of Ravenswood Manor. She found the stories of the Raven's Black Soul to be nothing more than silly fairy tales told to scare children into behaving. One fateful day, Elizabeth found herself wandering too close to the manor, drawn by an inexplicable force that she could not resist. As she approached the decrepit building, she couldn't help but feel a sense of unease creeping through her body. The air around her felt thick and heavy, and she couldn't shake the feeling that she was being watched. In her mind, Elizabeth commanded her body to turn back, but her feet would not move as if they were bolted to the ground. It was then that she saw the raven perched atop one of the manor's towers. Its ominous gaze was fixed intently upon her. The beat of her heart began to pound and she stared in terror into those deep soulless eyes. Searing ice ran down her spine. Immediately, she knew that she should have heeded the villager's warnings. As she stood there, frozen in fear, evil crept and spread inside her mind. The dark presence, moving to take control of her thoughts, whispering temptations and urging her to enter the manor. She tried to resist, but the pull was too strong. With each step she took towards the raven's wood, Elizabeth felt her mind slipping away. The whispering grew louder, and she knew she was losing herself. 
By the time she reached the doors of Ravenswood, she was no longer in control of her own thoughts. She passed through the gates of the manor, her body moving of its own accord. Inside, the darkness was absolute, and she could barely make out the shapes of the furniture. The whispering grew louder, and she felt as if she was being pulled deeper and deeper into a nightmare. Reaching the black heart of Ravenswood, Elizabeth found herself in a room filled with mirrors, and in each mirror, she saw the reflection of herself, but it was not her own face. Replacing the young and beautiful face of Elizabeth was the wraith-like image of the raven, staring back at her with empty, soulless eyes that seemed to be nothing more than gaping black holes. Its beak was twisted into a grotesque grin that made her blood run cold. The raven's smile was contorted in a way that seemed almost sentient, like it was enjoying her terror. This was the moment that Elizabeth lost her mind. She screamed, but no sound came out. And as she stood there, surrounded by the raven's reflection, she knew that her soul had been claimed by the curse. She would be forever trapped within the raven's black grasp. The villagers never saw Elizabeth again, but they say that on quiet nights, you can hear her screams coming from the manor as she is forever trapped in her nightmare, controlled by the raven's curse. The raven, ever lurking, circles over the manor to this day, its eyes forever searching for its next victim. Ah!